This is the Skywatcher Virtuoso Heritage 150 GTI. It is a good starting scope to use. Very beginner friendly. It is on an Altas mount, which means it tracks this car in an Altas mount configuration. It powers up from here. We have a port here, 12 volts, that you can switch the switch and use uh, an application called SynScan Pro. You can find it on Play Store and uh, use the telescope. It is a uh, 154mm inch, it's the aperture and 750mm focal length, which uh, makes it a focal ratio of 5, good for deep sky as well. That's it. So it's collapsible. One screw has two, two screws. Open the telescope. This shroud is the uh, iron made, it's one to prevent light leaks, which will mess you up for deep sky. So you have to do this. The focuser is not very good on this telescope. This is the only complaint I have about it. Which is helical and plastic. You have to be really careful with this. But it's not the best quality. But other than that, it's a wonderful scope. I have a lot of videos with it on my channel. Skywasher makes great stuff. As a level, you need to level it before starting any observations with the telescope. Before you starting, you need to, on the SynScan app, you need to do a star alignment. There is North Star, Brightest Star, One Star, and Three Star Alignment. Three Star Alignment is the most accurate, but believe it or not, I have had good, better. Uh, experience with the north level alignment on the on the app I don't know why but that was my my experience with it. It is uh, you need to collimate this telescope as well because it's uh, Dobsonian. It is very easy to collimate, very beginner friendly, you have three thumb screws here. You're losing these three small ones and then you adjust and you have a collimation cap as well. Collimation cap. This one. You put it in the focus there. Then you look in the through the focus there, and you have to make sure that this this small hole is aligned with the center spot on the mirror. And then it's collimated when it does this. It comes with two eye pieces as well. The 25 millimeter and 10 millimeter. These are classic. Skywatcher eyepieces that they come with in the telescopes. These are not not brilliant, but very good for planets and moon, and even to for visual deep sky as well. I use them. You can see video the videos on my channel are all with these two eyepieces, so they are not bad for the for the. Uh, they are not brilliant, but they are not bad as well. These, I believe, are acromat eyepieces, which are, have two lenses. And, you know, they're budget friendly. That's why they make them up. And basically, that's it. You know, it's very wonderful. It's about 400, 500 bucks, something like that. Is the telescope? It's not very cheap, but it's not an astronomy wise. Astronomy wise, it's uh, it's decent price. It comes with the dot finder. So just. Turn this on and uh, it shoots a light, a red light on the sky, so you know where the object is. And you can align if you have these three two screws, you have one here and one here. Down. And uh, with an astro camera, this doesn't have any problem like other Dobsonians have with the DSLRs and something like that, but if you adjust this length and focus. You, you can pretty much focus any camera with this. It's no issue. You have my word on that, because I, I use it all the time. Because with an ISI camera particularly, you don't need to screw it all the way. Something like here is, an, is uh, the best spot to be to focus. 
I use a software named Shark, SharkCap to do EAA, Electronic Astronomy with It's a wonderful way to do astro astrophotography view, view live deep sky objects live And uh, it's not serious astrophotography but it's, uh, it's very nice to see live deep sky objects And uh, SharpCap is an amazing software which is very good with this telescope and those are uh, the only the other complaint I have is that you you don't have the power outlet doesn't come with the telescope you have to buy it yourself it's 12 volts but it's not very expensive like 20 bucks but it's an extra cost you can also power it with batteries but I wouldn't recommend this it requires eight batteries four batteries here and four batteries on the back side I don't recommend running it on battery because it's waste quite a lot of uh, the batteries will waste within a couple of hours. So I don't recommend that. But anyways, it's a great little scope. I hope you found this helpful. Make sure to hit, uh, hit like and uh, share the, this video with your friends and subscribe to my channel. I appreciate it a lot. To do this, to do, keep doing these videos. And that's it for the day. Have a nice day. Thank you. Bye.